Here's Molly in the classroom, saying hello to her teacher with a big friendly smile. Later, at recess, she lets a friend take a turn on the swing. Then, in the lunchroom, Molly thanks another friend for helping her with her homework. Molly knows that it's important to treat other people how she'd like to be treated. You probably know that, too. But did you also know that good manners and kindness are just as important on the internet as they are in the real world? It's true. People you might talk or play with on the internet have feelings just like your friends at school. That's why it's important to be friendly with them. And when everyone is respectful and nice on the internet, it makes the internet safer and more fun for kids like you and Molly. Let's visit with Molly again while she's playing a game on the internet with her cousin, Mike. The object of the game is to work with a friend to find the answers to puzzles. Molly is good at math, so she gets the answers quickly. But Mike is having trouble getting the answers. What should Molly do? Should Molly say, you're not smart enough for this game? Or should she help Mike find the answers? If you decided that Molly should help Mike, you're right. Would you like it if someone said you weren't smart enough to play a game? Of course not. That's just mean and icky, like this green monster. You don't want to be an icky green monster. That's why you should choose to be kind and respectful. With her cousin Mike, Molly thinks about how she would want to be treated if she were struggling with something. And you never know. Maybe later Mike will help Molly solve other types of puzzles that aren't as easy for Molly. So here's another simple rule. Being helpful and kind is the best way to make the internet safe and fun for all kinds of people. Following this rule will help you feel good about the time you and your friends spend on the internet.